Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Kasab. Today we are joined by the co-founder and CTO of Expert Flow, Shan Al-Hak. Assalamu alaikum, Shan al how Hi. are you? Welcome, Salam, I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing good too. So let's start. Firstly, can you introduce your company to our viewers? Yeah, so uh, my company's name is Expert Flow. And what we do is we provide an accelerated uh, approach for uh, doctors. And what by this I mean is that the doctors are able to do uh, disease prognosis at a faster age and do not have to rely on traditional methods like lab reports. And with that, we save a lot of potential time and lives with that. What was the inspiration and motivation behind your company? Yes, yeah, so that's a long story. I'll give you a shorter one. So we started this company almost two years back and uh, the, the other co-founders and I, we were working on a healthcare project uh, in a hospital where we identified that sepsis was the leading cause of death in hospitals, especially in ICUs. And this is where we identified that using our collective knowledge uh, of machine learning, engineering and data science, uh, we can sort of develop a solution that can preemptively detect sepsis before it happens. And this is where uh, expert flow was born. And using that, uh, we started working uh, on this product, this idea of AI-based disease prognosis, which means that to detect diseases before they actually take place. And that is what uh, gave us the motivation. So in Pakistan, the basic healthcare is not available in most of the areas. How do you think that this advanced tech will be applicable in those areas? Yeah, so uh, like I agree with that point, but uh, the, the thing, uh, the way that our solution works is that it doesn't rely on lab reports, right? So it gives doctors alerts of, for example, 100 patients and the doctors can identify which are the critical ones. Uh, based on that, the doctor can actually look at only the critical ones and this way the doctor is not overburdened. Mm. Uh, based on early pro prognosis, uh, the patients are actually uh, relieved of their beds early. So the bed turnover is greater. So it costs less for the patient as well because the patient is staying uh, lesser at the hospital. So what are the hurdles that you faced in Pakistan? Uh, so yeah, one of the primary uh, like primarily one of the bigger issues that we faced was uh, data collection. Uh, so Pakistan is a little bit behind that mm. uh, because uh, data collection is only possible if there are EHRs in place. EHRs are electronic health records and most hospitals in Pakistan do not have one. Uh, so that's a hurdle that we faced and uh, because machine learning relies heavily on data. Uh, so absence of data was a huge hurdle for us. So we, along that, we also developed an EHR of ours and we're collaborating with the EHR companies as well so that we can collect data and using that data of local demographic, we are able to predict whether the patient will have sepsis or not in the next six hours, which is what our tech does. How much scope is there uh, in Pakistan for this field? So yeah, since this is a newer technology that we're trying to bring here and in Pakistan we are progressing but some of the things that we're doing are quite primitive. Uh, so there's a lot of scope here for such technologies where such technologies can help patients and not just patients, it can actually increase the revenue for the hospitals as well because uh, more beds would be freer in lesser time, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of scope here and uh, it's not just us, there are a lot of companies uh, other than us who are working in the healthcare space. Some of them are working on cancer. We are working on sepsis right now. Uh, what projects are you working on right now? Uh, so yeah, our uh, top project is basically the sepsis monitor mm -hmm. that we have developed. Uh, but as I told earlier, data collection is an issue, right? So we have developed a variable biosense and what Enver does is it is able to collect all six vital signs uh, using just your uh, wrist, uh, which is uh, unheard of. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, uh, the, the entire device is built in-house with our team of engineers. And uh, we tend to use Enver for uh, patients who are critical but are bedridden. So we can provide ICU level monitoring to your house without you getting to the hospital. So that's something we are working on as well. Uh, we are also working on uh, multiple disease prediction model, models for uh, cardiovascular diseases, and we have other similar projects in the pipeline. Same. 
So where do you see your company in five years? What are your future goals? Yeah, so we uh, are extremely ambitious. So we tend to see our company uh, as uh, the innovators of health tech, especially here in this region and starting with Pakistan. So our goal is to cover as many hospitals in Pakistan as possible and eventually expand to the Southeast Asia market, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, because these are uh, places where healthcare is needed the most. So that is our goal. Can you take us through some of your achievements? Uh, yeah, some of our achievements include uh, having won many awards uh, over the past uh, almost two years, uh, having won multiple grants, and we were recently part of the uh, Startup Chile program, uh, which is one of the top 10 accelerators of the world. And we came out as a top startup and we were named as the most innovative solution uh, in the Latin uh, market. See. So, as most of our audience is students and youngsters, what do you advise chahenge to our audience? Yeah, so for youngsters, I would advise you to, uh, if you have an idea and you're passionate about your idea, I would give you an advice of applying to these incubators like the NSDP, NIC, and Plan 9 because uh, having an idea is one thing, but like making a lucrative business out of it is it's different process entirely. So. Uh, do apply to these incubators because they help uh, youngsters like you a lot. Uh, they did help us a lot uh, in these early days. So yeah, that's one thing that I would say. Thank you. That's all for today's interview. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.